Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday live. I'm so used to saying like Wednesday night. Well, it's the daytime now. So um, welcome to my Wednesday live. As you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello. Um, I love to see who is on and who's watching. All right, Monday we upcycled um, a little tiny suitcase. I'm gonna show you that in a sec. That turned out awesome with the help of all you viewers. We picked a base color. We picked uh, what we were going to put on it. And now today we are doing the second suitcase, um, which is more like a briefcase. And at first I was looking at it and thinking, I'm definitely going to paint this. And as I was peeking at it, I'm like, no, I'm really going to embrace some of the imperfections and we're going to do a different technique to it. Um, definitely going to get your feedback before we start, but let's see who is all on. And let me pull up the comments. All right. So we have Vicki. Hello. Um, good morning. I have made one of the lives. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining. Uh, looks like Stephanie and Nancy were both on early. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Sadie's daughter. Hello, Tiffany. Good morning. Hello, everyone from North Carolina. Yeah. All right. Um, well, thank you guys for joining me. Um, I am trying to do one midday live and then one evening live. Otherwise, it kind of every evening, um, I feel like I have something going on. Okay, so let's take a peek at the suitcase that we did. All right. Hey, Tony. Hey, Eleanor. Okay, so there's a bit of a glare. I tried to kind of rearrange my lighting so you guys can see a little bit better. But what we did is we painted this old 57 and then we used the transfers from, we actually used uh, Ephemeral Melange. So I'm going to show you the cover of that the ephemeral melange, and we just used one of the transfers and we actually cut it up and pieced it. That's like the really great thing about transfers is that you can cut them apart. You can use them however you want. So you don't have to just take that piece and use as is. And so we actually took wording. We cut those separate. We put the wording here, some flowers, some more wording on top. I'm loving how this is looking. Um, I did actually... Um, I have to finish it, but I painted the edges and I'm letting that dry. It's still a little wet. I also wanted to distress the handles just a little bit more. So I actually took my nail and it took a bit to get that paint off because I had sealed it, but I scratched really, really hard and I was able to chunk off a little bit of stuff. So once that actually cures completely, it's going to be on there. Oh my gosh, I just got my shirt in there. So that is suitcase one. And like I said, I love how it turned out. So I'm going to set that aside. All right, let's see who else is all on here. All right, so we have D from Arizona. Good morning, Senate. Love the last guitar flip. Thank you. Uh, Mitzi says, missed the last suitcase, but excited to see this one also from North Carolina. So if you do want to watch, um, any of the past lives, they are all out there to watch. Uh, so you can definitely watch the replay, um, and how we did it, but it turned out awesome. I'm loving it. Uh, looks like we have Diane on. I love the contrast of the old 57 and those transfers. Beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you. So initially with the second suitcase, I was like, oh, I want to create them in a vignette. Maybe I should make everything look, you know, like it's all like perfect. But then I'm like, no, I can still stack suitcases and just embrace it. Um, so I am doing something a little different. So let's go ahead, flip it over. Okay. So let's take a peek at the suitcase first or briefcase. So here it is. And then remember I said on the back, it's a little bit worn and I really like that you guys. So what I'm thinking is Royce has this um, paper called printer's block. 
and I have yet to use it, but I really, I think what caught my eye when I was sitting here contemplating what to use. Here, let me pull it out of the plastic. So if you guys look like, can you see like this? It kind of reminds me of this brown. The other thing I really like too is that Royce recently came out with some stencils and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do the printer's black like on the top. You see there's kind of like a little lip here. So put the printer's black on the top and then on the bottom like that and maybe on the sides do some of this like raised stencil and I have yet to try a raised stencil. So all you folks, have any of you done a raised stencil before? Let me know. So how are you feeling about this? Let's chat about how you guys are feeling about the project so far as well. All right, so we have Linda from the Sacramento area. Oh, I was in Sacramento, California. Um, Diane said she's from Minnesota. I'm in Lodi. You're not far from me, Linda. Okay, so Nancy's liking the this so far. And I think, yeah, so with one piece, I should be able to do both sides. And I always do a little bit of an overlap. So I think I'm going to just do it like that. Stephanie said, this looks like my dad's work case when he worked for IBM. It was all of his computer repair tools. I still have it and some of the tools. I might do his like this. Aw, sounds great, D says. Okay, so I am going to just do a rough cut here. I feel like sometimes I have a crooked eye, you guys. Uh, hopefully, oh yeah, look at how bad I cut that. Oh my God, I do have a crooked eye. <laughs> okay, all right, so it still should work. There should still be plenty of an overlap for everything. Oh, good Lord, Sana. Look at how I cut that, you guys. What was I thinking? Um. Sacred Heart Design, Diane says, I've done ray stencils and I love them. Perfect. Tiffany said, hi, hi, Sal, on Cranberry Cottage video where she put a clock and a suitcase like that turned out super cool. Have you ever seen her channel? I have yet to see her channel. No. All right. So even though this is crooked, it still will cover it with plenty. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. See, I can laugh at myself for doing silly things, you guys. Okay. Perfect. All right. So anytime. So thoughts, should I, I think I am going to paint it white underneath. Um, I always like to start, start with a white base. It just really makes everything pop. The other thought is if I just do it as is, it will be more dark and moody. So maybe I should just do as is. Let's take a poll as is or should i make it really pop looks like my cutting <laughs> right oh vicky says i picked up a briefcase this past week fun i can't cut straight to save my life d says thank you guys i was even thinking am i because i didn't have it i was cutting sideways so i should have turned it and then cut it but i didn't all right leave it dark do it as is as is. Okay, that's what I was thinking as I was sitting here. I'm like, let's make it like a little dark and moody. All right, line that baby up. We're gonna just start. I gotta get this. Oh gosh, Tiffany says, you gotta break down and get those glasses, LOL. Yes. Hey, Joan. Um, nope, you're not late today, and I'm just trying to get this cap off here. All right, so if we can get both of these sides done, then we can start with the raised stencil. So 
I did watch another gal and she used lightweight spackling for her raised stencil. So I am going to try it. Uh, Canterbury Cottage has a good channel for smalls. Yes. She, um, I actually, um, watched her several times. So yeah, I do watch, I've watched her. I actually really liked her channel in the beginning when she had a booth and then she got out of, um, the booth. So before I even had my channel, I watched hers cause she had a booth. Um, I like to, uh, well, I, as you guys all know, I do resell everything typically some stuff I, I keep for myself, but, um, I try to put everything when I, um, repurpose it, it's going to be going either in my booth or for an event. So yeah. All right. I am re okay. So Terry from Windsor, California says I am refurbishing two suitcases. So this is right on time. Great watch live. Perfect. All right. And Kathy says, hi, Kathy from Alabama. Okay. I just want to make sure this is all lined up how I want it. Okay. We're going to just roll with it and I'm going to, okay. So I did my starter strip and I'm just going to smooth this all out. Just try to get rid of as many of those wrinkles as possible. Okay. Perfect. Yep. That will work. Awesome. Okay. Let me just work it out a little bit more. Love it. Love it. Okay, guys. I don't know if this will be done or dry in time, but we can definitely try to help it along. Okay, so I'm using liquid patina from DIY. And the paper is called Printer's Black. I think it's really um, an awesome paper. And again, I love how Royce created the stencil to go. It, it just kind of goes hand in hand. Um, some of the other stencils too that um, I think would be perfect for fall, and I definitely want to break those out for some fall projects would be she has the cloche she has the bushel basket i have those all available to on my website uh, so think of like the projects you guys could do with that okay all right Okay, how far down did I go? Go right there. All right. Um, Ann says, I love that paper. Watching while I curl my hair and getting ready for some thrifting today. Woo! Perfect day for thrifting. It's rainy. Are you looking for anything in particular today, Ann, or just whatever catches your eye? All right, here we go. I'm going to keep my working my way down. Okay. Working out any of those wrinkles that might be there. Um, Let's see, can I put it up? Sure can. As soon as I get done, here, let me let me try to type it in here. Let's see, in my, dis oh, it's not in my description, but I can maybe put it in the comments too. Let me do that real quick for you guys. All right, 
Can I do a comment? There, I did a, I did a comment, you guys. I haven't done that before. So, oh, and it looks like it went on YouTube. Yes, I can definitely put that in the description in just a second, my website. So that's a good idea. I'll do that moving forward, have it ready for you guys. All right. Okay, let me just smooth this out. How far down did I go? Oh, I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it so far. Starting to, it is like, it has that like moody feel, that vibe. And maybe even for the handles, I could do some change like maybe some something different on the handles. Okay. Let me just wanna go around the edges and really make it nice and crisp. And if there are any wrinkles, I'm just gonna embrace them because the whole suitcase is, well, we're gonna call this one a briefcase. It's not a suitcase. It really... All right. Okay, so what do you guys think so far? I like that whole vibe so far. I'm really liking it. I think this is going to look really cool. Okay, so I'm going to show you, like, the contrast. It's still going to have to dry. And let me... I just want to work out a couple more of these little wrinkles on the edges. Perfect. Love it. Okay. So as that is drying, okay. Stephanie said, my nephew would love this. He's in the grunge type of look. Yes, I, I agree. It looks so cool. Okay. And Anne says she loves it. Perfect, perfect. Loving this look. Okay, I'm going to try to zap it a bit with my, I don't know if it's going to reach. Okay. So I really like the look. I like the rustiness of those handles. I think it's going to look awesome with this. So why don't I... And just zap it really quick and then we're going to set it aside. Oh, it's drying good. It's drying good. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to let that go. All right. Oh, you guys, I just dropped all my transfers all over the place. Here, I'm trying to, I should have cleaned this up, but I'm like, well, maybe I'll do a transfer. Maybe this, maybe that. Um, let me just grab that. Okay. So I'm going to set this over aside and then why don't we talk about, because we have a little time, a little dry time happening here. Um, do you guys remember what the other suitcase looked like? I'm just going to briefly show you it. It's like this white and it has these handles like this. I know it's pretty, pretty close up. Wow. I can barely hear the heat gun and hear you really well. Good job. Okay. <laughs> I know you guys. And this heat gun was bought with all the stars you guys gave me, um, from all of my lives, I um, I appreciate it. So everyone, I was using um, for the longest time. I was using my hair dryer, <laughs> and 
And everyone said, you need a heat gun. We need a heat gun. And so that is what I have had now. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. So this is looking good, good, good. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it a lot. Just trying to smooth out. I don't know why. This one has a few more wrinkles, which I I do like than normal, but that's okay. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining. So today we are using the recycled paper called Printer's Black. And we are going to do both sides, the front and, or like the top and the bottom. And then on the sides, I wanted to do possibly like a raised stencil. So I think that I really like that I didn't put white behind it, that just I'm really embracing the look of the actual paper. I was hoping, I just don't want to flip it over too soon, you guys, because bad things will happen if it's not dry enough. When I say bad things, I'm talking about it will not, it will tear and it won't be perfect. Good. Yeah, the, the wrinkles should go down a bit after drying as well, after it's finished drying. But you guys can kind of see. And then. So what I will do next is I will take a piece of sandpaper and then sand all the edges down once it's dry enough to take away any of the excess. And I will then flip it over and then do the other side. I have been having issues with my Facebook. Not sure if my name is displaying. It is not, so I'm not sure here. I will show you. This is what it says, Facebook user. I don't know why it doesn't show, so I'm sorry. Um, but it looks like almost everybody else's name is showing. I just want to see here if I missed any comments. I have not. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is... It's almost dry and, oh, I don't know, you guys. Oh, hey, Dana. Hey, Erica. Erica says, love the, love the look of this. Thank you, thank you. I am too. I am too, I think. I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit more and then we're gonna flip it. And we're flipping it. All right. Okay, look at I spilled my paint this morning, you guys. Okay, so this is the bottom. I'm just gonna hopefully that will be fine. We're just going to oh yeah, here's my crooked, my crooked spot. All right, and then I'm going to turn it this way this time, and we're going to try to do it straight. <laughs> that is a whole lot better. See, I can cut straight. Oh, you guys. All right, let's do this side, and then I will stand it up. Let's see here. Valerie says it looks great. I really like how that's turning out. Lots of great autumn colors in there. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put too much pressure on here because I don't want to scrap, do anything to the bottom. So I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. 
Again, we're embracing the imperfections of this suitcase, you guys. Embracing it. Okay, I keep calling it a suitcase. Briefcase. It's a briefcase. Okay, the inside is like perfect. All right, let's see here. Joan says, it's nice that the letters go in all directions when doing a suitcase. I'm torn whether the image should look up. Well, Joan, that has definitely happened in the past. If you guys watched any of my previous lives where I did a suitcase and I had some issues with that same thing. So the image was going like, we didn't know what was going on with it. So it's okay. All right, so working out. Okay. Perfect. I just want to get this corner a little bit more because this corner has. Perfect. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just bought some papers from you, but thinking I might have to get that one now. LOL. Yes. This is a lot of fun. This one. Uh, and hopefully we can, I'm not sure if I'll get this totally done that we can start the race stencil. I, I mean, I did get pretty far on that last one, you know, like when we did it. It's just that when doing it live, we have to always think about dry time, you guys. This one is actually not as many wrinkles. So I don't know what I did to the, to the other side versus this side. This one's looking a whole lot better, but again, right? Embracing imperfections of a piece. And then just keep working your way down. <laughs> All right. Let me just grab that. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, oh, Dana goes, yeah, I don't want to be a Facebook user anymore. I want to go back. <laughs> I have to see if I can fix it. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, I understand. I don't know how to fix it. So does anybody have any tips or tricks for Dana how to fix it to show that it's not doesn't say Facebook user? I'm not really sure. Do you have to like accept something? I don't know. Let's see here. I'm just gonna put the rest of it down here and just go to that bare, that little edge there. Okay, I'm gonna just work my way down. All right. Let's grab a little bit more here to really work it. There. Oh, I like it. I like it, you guys. It's looking so good. Okay. It's like I always like to have it. I don't really get a defined line on the very edge. So when I sand it, okay. 
This head's looking good still. All right, let's see here. I used to be a perfectionist trying to learn to embrace the imperfections, Nancy said. Yes, that's how I am as well. I also have to just try to embrace that. Um, I did have a comment on my last YouTube video that said, why didn't I take the dent out of the green container? And it's because I really like to, I like that look, the dented, dingy, just, it looked, that's, that's what I was going for. Tiffany says she likes the wrinkles. To her, it makes it look more like real leather. Looks awesome. I, I think um, I'm glad that you did not paint it. I know. I'm glad I didn't paint it either. Char says, this is looking fabulous. You always inspire me. Thank you. I think this is looking really great, too. I'm so glad that I was sitting here brainstorming before the live. Initially, I wanted it to look similar to the first suitcase. I'm like, no, I'm going to try to bring out the beauty of this case. And I think that that's what we're definitely doing. Oh. I think the edge here needs to, how big is your suitcase? This one, this is a briefcase. The other, or the other white one are we talking about? There's three of them. Um, I don't, do I have my ruler? I do have a ruler. Look at that. You guys, this is roughly 19 by roughly 12. And then, I'm going to set that one aside. My other suitcase that we did is nine by roughly, is that 14? 14, nine by 14. So at first I was trying, I was thinking we were going to put these all together, but now I think probably not. This is probably gonna go into my fall, like a fall vignette. I think it'll look really awesome. Oh, the one you're working on, okay. Yeah, the one I'm working on, what did we say? 12 by, I think, 19. 12 by 19. And we took one piece of the paper and we got both sides done and then I have this little bit left. So I can do another project with the rest of it. Hey, Kathy, you're you're not late. It's okay. I think I am going to let this dry and then oh my gosh i actually got some paint on this side a little bit or like little pieces that i'm gonna have to wipe off it's okay so i'm actually gonna let this dry the rest of the way and just don't want this to dry in it See what happens when I try to rush a project, you guys? <laughs> there, got that off. So we got both sides done. And yes, I do like how it's um, both ways. Let's see here if I can go through this. All right, so now, all right, so really loving it. Great job, thank you, thank you. So this is where I think I'm just going to add a few, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on the front, but definitely on the sides. So I think I'm going to just do these raised stencils and then I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it done today. I'm sad. So maybe 
Should we set this aside and bring the other one in? Uh, Kathy says, I love that paper. I'm, I've been trying to find something to use it on. I know it really like, I think your piece has to speak to you, right guys? Like, so that's what happened today. So I'm going to set this one aside and I just set it down on the ground for now to let that dry. And I wasn't going to start this one, but let's just do it. <laughs> okay. I haven't thought about this at all. So we have a half hour yet. Let's just quick brainstorm. So we talked about, this is what the, this one's kind, I like the color, but let's just, we can do anything. It's really, um, it's got good bones and, oh yeah, and it opens the inside member is beautiful. It's actually perfect on the inside. I did find the keys when I opened it up. Oh, hey, Katie. Katie, she says, hi, Sonic, pouring candles and catching you. Cannot wait to see how that, this turns out. Yes, um, so we're letting that dry because I don't wanna rush it. I, I can definitely, we can do, we can multitask here. Remember, um, or was it? Uh, I've had some viewers say that they have eight projects going at a time. Well, one's drying, they start another. So this is the third suitcase that I want to flip and then we'll have the three suitcases done. All right, um, so maybe we could actually make, cause these two suitcases I kind of had together initially in that picture or that image. Um, what do you guys think about the color? Like maybe make it a little bit more neutral. Um, Oh, okay. <laughs> D says cowgirl coral. All right. I love it. So, okay. Cowgirl coral. We have one bid for cowgirl coral. Let me grab that one bid one. Okay. There's cowgirl coral. Yeah. I want to see what you do. I have done several and have ran out of ideas. Yep. I usually do three at a time. Taryn says, yeah, I do too. Um, Cowgirl coral would go, you know, that would still go. Actually, I just, I'm going to bring this back up, you guys. I mean, honestly, like even cowgirl coral would kind of bring out some of that corally color in that. So let's do it. Cowgirl coral is amazing. I would have to absolutely agree with you on that. Okay, I am actually going to take this paintbrush and I'm going to wrap it really quick. Okay, let's start. Let's just do it. Well, I have this. I'm going to grab a different paintbrush here. Oh, my other one's... Oh, here. Woo. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right, we're painting a cow. Oh, Lord. I hit a button, you guys. Remember last time when I hit a button, we, we had problems. <laughs> Actually, I think the cowgirl coral will match kind of the inside. I'm going to just, I better not set it in there. Knowing my luck, I'll tip it over. I think it matches really great. So great idea, Joan. All right, we're, we're rolling with it. We're rolling with it. Um, Taryn, on the one I just did, I will sand off the excess. Um, you just don't want to sand it off until it's dry because I've had issues with that in the past where, um, where you sand it too soon, you get tearing, um, just bad stuff happens. <laughs> I really have said that a lot. Bad stuff happens. All right. So we're going to paint this. I, all right. I'm loving it already, guys. Okay. All right, so this is Cowgirl Coral, and it's from DIY. Okay, so we're going to just give this a facelift. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. All right, so Tiffany says Cowgirl Coral, Cowgirl Coral is perfect. Go with it. Yes, we did. 
I went with it. Okay. So you guys, um, Monday, did I, what did I, I talked about Cranberry Fest a bit. I also talked about it in my video. And I am just going to continue to pick for Cranberry Fest. And my husband's like, you've been doing a lot of thrift hauls lately. I'm like, yeah, I have, but I'm definitely going to have to be flipping items. So it's perfect. I love doing these lives because I can just keep flipping items on all of these lives. So I actually thrifted all of these cases recently. So this will be good. Um, I've been thinking about the trailer that I'm going to rent. I think I'm going to, I was trying to remember what size trailer I rented last year. I think I'm going to try to upgrade. So to do a little bit um, bigger, like a little bit bigger trailer if I can. It was like, I hope I didn't have the biggest one last year, but I think I might have. We'll see. So I have to call on that and get that all reserved. Okay, what do you guys think? Oh, I'm liking it. There's been a request for cowgirl, cowgirl coral, and it, it finally got chosen. Woohoo! Nancy says she likes to watch the thrift hauls. Yeah. Yeah, got to get the goods while they're there. I cannot wait to see how you set up all your pieces. I know. You guys, I am like super, I know this isn't probably the best view, but I'm just going to keep rolling with it on the side here. Um, I am super excited too about the setup this year, just because I'm having some different um, products that I'm bringing. You know, I'm bringing some of my oldies or the ones that I've done in the past. But one thing that I have realized is you always have to stay, you know, like keep up with the different products or come up with different ideas. And that is what I'm trying to do. Okay. The perfectionist is working perfect to get into like all that detail on there like all those little indentations it worked perfect to get inside of that okay so i got that and now let's do the top i'm debating whether or not to, i don't know if i want to paint these um gonna have to get out my glasses for that to do the fine fine tune I'm gonna not paint it right now and then maybe roll with it in a minute we'll see all right love it thrift reduce upcycles are my absolute faves don't really care for shopping trips etc I know but it I like to showcase I hear that a lot that a lot of people don't like the the shopping trips or the thrift hauls, but it's kind of nice to see the whole process of what it goes into. And some people really like that. So I try to show it all. Um, I love it. it. goes with both previous pieces, right? I do too. I think it's going to look awesome. And, it's, and I might actually be able to put it all together in that same vignette. So I'm super excited about it. All right, let's see. I don't know. I'm going to have to really get in there. The shiny chrome looks awesome with the color. Yeah, I think so too. I'm just going to have to real, I'm going to, I have a real fine brush that I'll probably have to get. Oh, I just hit the camera. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't want to make you guys motion sickness or anything. Um, bronze rub and buff on the metal. Oh, that's a great idea too. I don't have the bronze. I have like the gold, but yeah, that might, that would be a good idea. The bronze rub and buff. All right. Nancy says, I love the thrift hauls. I went thrifting yesterday. Thank you. Yes. 
I know. I honestly, you guys, I just, I'm kind of obsessed. I love going and seeing what I can find. Um, it's just that you can't have too much either, right? But right now, I am trying to balance um, with the flipping and the thrifting. All right. I don't know. Just trying to get as close as possible. I can always touch it up when I do the second coat. Um, let's see here. Terrence says, silver rob makes them look good too, but with that color, gold may be the thing. Yeah, I think so. I, I think the gold is going to, oh dear, is going to be the way to go. Like the bronzy gold. All right. Don't want to take this over. Uh, Carol says, cowgirl coral would match nicely with the blue interior. Yes, you can put Vaseline on the hardware when done painting and it just rubs off. Okay, good good to know. Uh, I love thrift. I love the thrifting videos, but I definitely get cart envy. You find such great stuff. Thank you. I'll, I'll remind my husband of that. <laughs> I find great stuff. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Sometimes I, I, he's like, well, it's so funny because he like follows me, you guys, and he'll say, oh, you went on a thrift haul today, huh? I said, oh, how do you know? He goes, I watched YouTube or if I put something out on Facebook too. He's my biggest fan. My biggest supporter. Love him. All right. Let's turn it sideways now. All right. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Oh, my. God, I... Okay, guys. I'm going to try to get as close as possible there. I'll make everything look, here I am. I'll make everything look perfect in the end. All right, last side and then just the bottom and then we can dry it. Do I just put my elbow? I touched something. Oh, sun it, sun it. Okay. So this is really nice. This, like I said, the, the this little tiny tip, you guys. Oh, where is it? That tiny tip really gets into the into all that detail. I'm trying. It's kind of hard to show you from this angle, so I apologize if I'm trying to make sure I'm saying in camera. Oh, Cindy goes, I love the shopping. I love the hauls. I love the DIYs. Awesome. I, I love it that you're loving it at all. I know. And there's so many good things to find, you know? All right, let's see here. Oh, my. Okay. Um, okay, guys, so it looks like I got a telemarketer call. <laughs> Let's see if it will come back. Oh, uh, I don't know if it will. Let me look here. Black screen. Yep. Are you dark or is it me? Nope, you guys. I apologize. It went black. Let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, I am so sorry. I... Oh, there it. Okay. 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 I think, let me put it back. So it was a telemarketer call. Um, let's see here. Let me put it back. 
Bear with me for one moment. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, my screen's good. Okay, back. Okay, guys. All right, let's... Telemarketers are the worst, you guys. I don't want any of it. I don't even know. And uh, they've been, like, really spamming me lately. So let's see here. We're back. We are back. I All of a sudden, I heard it before it actually, I could hear it vibrating. And I was like, oh my gosh, is that my phone? And then I looked and you guys were, or I was gone. Okay. Yes, telemarketers are absolutely the worst. Okay. Let me just try, I'm gonna just get this top part. I think on the back, I think I'm just gonna paint it all. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just paint all of it on the back. I might be kicking myself later, but there's a lot back here. Okay. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's from. All right. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so Cindy says, you cut your hair, it looks great. I didn't cut my hair, I just, um, I did, I blue dry it today. I blue dry, I, I, I took up the blow dryer to it. I actually um, had a little extra time and I was like, okay. Well, okay, did I really have extra time? No, I just decided to blow dry it. Um, but yeah, so I was actually thinking about cutting my hair, though. Um, I was thinking it was getting a little bit too long. So I was thinking about doing that. I don't know. I'll have to go to the dollar store and get a sharp pair of scissors, right? <laughs> oh, gosh, no, I just... All right. There's that, and then I just want to get this little corner, and then we can start chatting a little bit before we wrap this up, because this is going to have to dry, too. Okay, got that. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys, great suggestion on the color. I love it, I love it. Okay, done. Dunzos on the first coat on the top. At least we got one coat of paint on. We got it started. I'm going to wrap this up here and let me bring you guys. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's see here. Brenda says every time my husband comes home and I say I have to go and see if I can find. He says, you've been watching Sonic again, haven't you? <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh gosh. Taryn, she says, uh, guys, my soul is dying. I've had Achilles tendon surgery and can't get to my shisha. No. Oh. Okay. Stephanie likes the coverage with the paint. I think that, yes, absolutely. Um, just curious, do you use your studio at all? I do. So I, okay. So my internet, we'll just briefly talk about my internet, you guys. So I actually have my internet running back there and, uh, my internet provider that I currently have is not the best and I'm not going to name names or anything or bash anybody. But when I'm in here, my internet is perfect because I'm very close to the, whatever the tower. And even though I'm connected to the tower and I have it run back there, it, um, and the cord should be fine because my internet provider it stinks. I have real spotty service back there, but great news. This is great news that, um, they're actually laying line for a new internet provider in my neighborhood. So that should be changing very soon, but yes, I do use it. Um, 
all the time. I love it. Um, I think it's just been such a convenience because every from when winter when I shut my studio down because of the cold weather and moved everything here in this room. Um, it's just been so convenient to just stay in here and I pop in, I pop out and um, but yes, I do use my studio and I, I totally miss it and I should probably bring it back for a live. Maybe I should try a live out there. Maybe Monday. We'll see um, if I have everything out there. But um, Joan says, I'm too chicken to go live because I'm not tech savvy. I wouldn't know what to do I had if I had any glitches. You guys see how it happened? Like I spilled a bottle of water on my laptop the one day. Um, I had a telemarketer. <laughs> You just roll with it. You'll, you'll, don't be chicken. Just do it. Go live. Um, let's see here. Uh, Tiffany says, I'm a retired hairstylist. I think shoulder length would look awesome. It does look great today. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's getting a little long, you guys. So I was thinking just a little bit, just chop the ends off. But, um, oh, <laughs> And Tiffany says, don't buy a dollar store scissors and cut your hair. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I have an, so I did that as well. I have an internet extender. I tried that at first. It did not work. Um, then the second thing I did is that I um, ran an actual hard wire from the house back there. And that was working um, until recent. So I don't know. It's real spotty. So some days, even when I upload my YouTube videos, some days the upload goes extremely quick and fast. And then there are some days where, okay, I hit a button. <laughs> I hit a button guys. And then there's some days where it just doesn't upload. So, um, it's very frustrating. So I apologize. Did your bottle survive the storm? They did. They got wet. I had to wash them. And actually, I was think I was going to wash them all after I did the um, bleaching technique. But those, because they were all sopping wet, I didn't want to just throw them in my dryer, like from the bins. So they all ended up in the washer, and then they ended up in the dryer, and they are fine. So um, I went and I actually divvied them all up by size just to see how many of each I had. And you guys, surprisingly, it was pretty even. So I divided it out by like smalls, mediums, large, extra large, 2X, like that area or three. Yeah. Like any of the, the larger sizes and they all evened out fairly well. So I'm very excited. Um, if anything, I didn't have as many smalls where I thought, oh, I'll have tons of smalls. And I really didn't. Uh, because I figured I wanted to have a nice, even playing field where everybody from every size could purchase. I have a really nice array of colors too. So I'm super excited about it. I still think I'm going to get a few more, um, if I can find any and, um, but I don't want too many because then you guys, I have to do, I have to actually <laughs> spend a couple days doing all of that. So uh, Katie wanted to know if I found out or I figured out how much I'm going to charge for them. I have not. So um, it's interesting. On my last video when I talked about it, um, I had a, a range of prices that people said that they sold them for. So um, I think some people said like 25, 28, 30. I don't know if anything over 30. I probably wasn't going to go over 30. Um I'm getting, a, I'm making sure that when I purchase them, that the price is right. So that even with me doing something to them, that I'm still making a profit and I'm not just doing all this extra work. So, um, any suggestions, what you think I should price, it would be a flannel and I'm doing like a bleaching technique. Possibly I am going to look into, um, doing something maybe on the back side, like on a few of them. Um, but I want to make each one real unique. Uh, I even grabbed um, a couple t-shirts and I thought about even sewing like t-shirts on the back. So, um, okay. So Taryn said 24. Uh, Katie said, I definitely think 28 minimum. I would have to agree. And 
let's see. Tiffany says, girl, I have to know the color of the wall behind you. I love that color. It's so pretty. Um, it is a Sherwin Williams color and I, it's one of their grays. So it actually, it's kind of funny. I went in there one day and it was, um, somebody had mixed it. So it's like their oopsie paint. Uh, so I grabbed it and I'm like, oh, I wish I could see like really what this color looks like. And he said, well, in every Sherwin-Williams store, it's our back wall. So it's like their main wall that they have in the Sherwin-Williams store too. So um, I'll figure it out and I'll post it. But um, but thank you. All right. Let's see. So we got 24 and 28. So um, if anybody else has any suggestions, definitely let me know. But we are, we definitely got a lot done. Um, I have the first case almost done. Like I said, I just need to seal the inside that I touched up and then that one will be done. The second case, we have the papers on and we're letting them dry. So when we come back Monday for the next live, I will have that all um, distressed off. So I'll take that sandpaper, have that all ready to go. So then next time, we are going to use the spackling and we are going to use the stencil to create uh, raised stencils around the edges of the suitcase. And then I'm not sure how quick this dries. I should probably look. Fast drying, 30 minutes. So it says 30 minutes, no sanding, won't sink or shrink. Okay, well, that is what we're going to do on that suitcase. Then for the suitcase that we painted today, I will have it all ready to go. I will have the second coat of paint on it. So after the top and sides dry, I'll do the bottom, then I'll paint the second coat, and then that will be good to go. So hopefully we will be able to get the two suitcases done by the end of you know Monday and Wednesday. So we'll do that. And I think actually after we did that second suitcase or the third suitcase with the cowgirl coral, I think we're going to be able to maybe stack them. So and keep them all together. All uh, right. Ruth said, I would pay $30 for the flannels. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. I, I like that. So, um, but yeah, so then um, after we get these done, then we'll just tackle another project and um, I'll be going in and, pulling out more stuff. I actually have a bunch of picture frames. So I'm thinking maybe a project with those because I definitely want to bring some of that along. I always like to bring artwork, like different pieces like that. So we'll see. All right, guys. Um, everyone's been really quiet. Must be listening to me or dropping off. So all right. I want to thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate it. And um, definitely, I cannot wait to get that second suitcase and third suitcase done. And then we'll I'll take a photo of all three together. All right. Well, you guys have a great day and weekend. And we will see you Monday for the live at six o'clock. Otherwise, Friday, I will be putting up a YouTube video and not entirely sure. I'm probably thrift to a thrift to treasure probably. All right. Um, everyone's saying goodbye. Awesome. I'm curious about the spackling. Me too. First time using it. So we're going to work on it together. All right. Well, you guys have a great day and we'll see you Friday. Bye.